guys welcome back to my channel so I have had a lot of y'all asking me questions so I decided I would just do a big q and A. I've been gathering questions and information and I hope this video can help a lot of you I'm hoping that it can explain some things to you or break some things down um, a lot of them are questions that a lot of people have and just are too scared to ask so some of these really might help you um, in situations that you didn't even know you were thinking. The first question and a lot of question that a lot of people ask me all the time that I'm constantly asking is good devotional books. So here we are. First devotional that I ever got was The Jesus Calling and this is the most common one and I was given this um, my senior Sunday school teachers gave it to me and I didn't really get into it until my dad got sick. I've talked about this before um, in some past videos, but it's a really good thing because it's one of those books you don't have to buy a new one every year and I don't even think they make new ones every year. They just come out with different colored covers, I think, but you go back and you read different things and you'll read the same um, day every single year, but it means something different every year because you're changing and growing so much. So sometimes you just need a Bible verse, and it's hard to find a Bible verse. I highly recommend this. It's every spiritual, spirit-led promise for every day and every need for the new modern English version. So if you go to the very front, wherever it is, it has all these topics, and it has like anything you could ever think of there's one for every single topic so if you wake up feeling a certain way and you don't really know what to do come here look for the topic you're trying to go over or the emotion that you're having um go to that bible verse go to the verse in the bible and one thing i really like to do when i'm feeling a certain way read the verse before and the verse after the verse that you're going for because that can really um kind of guide you onto where you're going with that devotional for the day and one that i've really been getting into is life in the word by joe meyer i think um, like it has, it has subjects and then it has sub-subjects for it. So God, love, and presence, physical, spiritual, and health. So if somebody is asking me how to deal with a certain thing and I don't know where it is in the Bible, I'll turn to this because it has, you know, do you, do you, does stress have you tied in knots? Um, the wandering mind, Lord, teach me to pray. So different topics that people need help on rather than certain emotions. If you have a certain topic you need help on, I say life in the word and if you have a certain emotion you need help on I'd say spirit led promises for every day and every need and if you just need a good devotional Jesus calling so the next topic was spreading God's word and witnessing to everybody that's around you so each of us have a gift my gift is talking and using social media as my platform I have loved to talk since I could talk I have never stopped so different people have different types of gifts so um, you could use it through talk or speaking through sports singing um, writing, art, any talent that you have, you are given to glorify God's kingdom. And there's different ways to do that. We have missionaries, preachers, teachers, nurses, um, just different types. It doesn't have to necessarily be inside of the church as a job description, but everybody is on their path of life to glorify the kingdom and to glorify our Lord. So witnessing to people that you come across um, you're put in every single situation every single day and you're put by every single person for a certain reason So witnessing can be very scary That's one reason I didn't start a channel and I originally wasn't going to share with anybody because I was scared to witness to people And I was scared what people were going to think but if you really think about it That person's there for a reason and if they don't want to hear what you have to say They're normally just gonna walk away or if they argue with you. I Hope you know your facts because the people who don't agree with something no more than you will see if you ever get into an argument with an atheist or somebody of a different religion chances are they might know a lot more about your religion than you do if i ever got into a fight i'd be done because there is so much that i do not know i'm so down on the totem pole when it comes to knowledge about the bible so it can be scary to actually disciple to people, but you don't have to just start your conversation like, hey, do you know Jesus? You can start off simple by, uh, you can start out simple by just saying something like, how's your day going, getting to know them, and then bringing it up later on. You don't have to bring it up that day, but if you want, go ahead and build a friendship around it first, or if you're somebody who is okay with getting um, rejected and shot down, just go up, start a conversation, and dive right into it. I have made a video about self-esteem. I will list it down below. With self-esteem, um, the thought in your head that you have these issues, it's all a mind game, but it's a mind game from the devil. He is making you have these thoughts. He's making you feel this way because he's trying to tell you that God made a mistake, that he didn't make you the right way, that he um, messed up and 
made you feel unbeautiful or unwanted or anything like that. That is the devil attacking you because he knows you have a weak mindset like that. When you have this feeling of issues and self-esteem, you can use this time to run towards God. You can use this time to just pray and say, you know, ask God why. Why am I feeling this way? Why am I doubting you? Why am I thinking that you didn't make me perfect even though you molded me how you wanted me to be? Why can't I feel as beautiful as you see me? You are wonderfully crafted by the hands of the Lord and he thinks you're beautiful. It's just finding that inner will to think you are as beautiful as he sees you. All right, and last is how to talk about um, subjects you don't agree on with your loved ones. Now, this is hard because I've never dealt with this, but I have seen other people deal with it because I am single as a pretty little forever. <laughs> so you have to remember that you cannot change anybody no matter how hard you try. I have tried to change somebody and it ended up changing me into a terrible person. Um, you can't change anybody into something they don't want to be and you can't make anybody see a certain point of view that they don't want to see. If any way of life, any political view, any earthly view, any religious view, you cannot make somebody see something a different way if they are set in stone on what they believe. So with that being said and with that being so hard, before you go into this conversation or before you even think about having this conversation with your other person, I would say pray. Pray for a soft heart and pray for an understanding heart because the hardest part of this is you're going to end up saying something that you don't mean. You're going to end up saying hateful things. You're going to, um, there's a possibility you can mix up the facts all because you didn't pray for a soft heart because you're going to have a lot of anger and a lot of emotions coming out in this argument. And you probably still will even after you've prayed for this. But when you pray for God to be on your heart and to be by your side during this time, it's going to go a lot smoother. And with that, use scripture as your resources. Instead of saying like, oh, my preacher said this, or um, Chris Tomlin saying this, or um, just quoting people or going off what they said isn't going to be the best way to go across these situations. Now, yes, you can use those for ex like in examples and things like that, but the best resource that you're going to have is using the actual scripture because with the scripture, it doesn't lie, and it's not biased, it's not opinionated, it doesn't have one view. With other people, they're going to have opinions. Um, that's why I say scripture is the best way to go in arguments, because it's the truth and nothing but the truth. It's done. The most important thing I think about this topic is you have to respect where they're coming from and you have to really be open to listening to where they're coming from because a lot of times with arguments there's just a miscommunication and you may be thinking the same thing but the way that you two are saying it is what's causing the tension and what's causing the disagreement but you're actually meaning the same thing but how you're saying it isn't coming out correctly. So just try to um, stay calm during these situations and respect where they're coming from and be willing to understand where they're coming from because you may learn something from them. And I'm not saying that you um, are right or wrong, but a lot of times when you're willing to be understanding these situations, you can learn something and you can You've learned how to handle situations like that. And that's another reason for praying with all these situations is when you pray, you're going through this situ situ situation, but you're also learning how to handle situations like this when it comes in later down the road. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any video requests, please leave them down below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel so you can get notifications when I upload videos. Remember to like this video. If this video helped you, please um, feel free to share with any friends or family that you think might be able to benefit from this. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!